What is up guys? I'm pretty excited about this review today because I get to review something that here in Canada we don't really have and it's actually pretty hard to get. This is the Duke Cannon. Now you want to talk about the American Special? Forget the burgers and fries. We're talking about extra large and loud soap. Now Duke Cannon is a staple of uh, American men's soaps. Uh, they do donate a portion of their uh, proceeds to US veterans as it says right there, which I think is honestly, it's great. Um, I'm not sure if there's a Canadian company that does something like that, but I really think that that should be um, something that a major soap supplier should get involved in because I think we owe our veterans a lot. Um, anyways, this actually says that, uh, so I got the big American bourbon soap. This weighs in at 10 ounces. This is a big soap. So it is called the uh, big brick of soap. And, and really, I mean, it, it's the size of my hand. I'll show you this. Let's take it out of the pack. Uh, I want to read something. It says it's made with 90 proof Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. And here's a little speech thing that it has on the side. In the early days of the American frontier, rugged pioneers indulged with a dry buffalo steak and a pull of whiskey, not a $12 Cosmo and a plate of bruschetta. Honestly, that right there sums it up for me this is really really funny it's a great soap uh i mean just the just the look of it alone is awesome it comes in this really nice big box it's really fancy and like it even gives you a stock number so i have 075 stock number okay let's pull this big brick of soap out of the box and see what it looks like holy smokes look at this thing wow Right there, you see the Duke Cannon. Look at that Buffalo Trace whiskey. Wow, that is awesome. Now, when I tell you guys this thing is big, I mean, like, it is, look at it compared to my head. I mean, I, I think I got a pretty big, this is like, like an iPhone 11 or 12, whatever, max. This is huge. This is a really big soap. Surprisingly, though, it feels kind of light. Weird. Um, it's a really, really hard soap. Uh, but just a straight triangle, kind of a sloppy cut there. You can see it's kind of on an on an angle. A little bit of a sloppy cut, but you know what? It's all good. Um, the smell, I can smell it pretty mildly. It doesn't have a, a really like boom in your face scent. But it reminds me of it reminds me of like a leathery, almost like an original type of leather belt when you buy a new leather belt. It smells like that. It has a hint of smokiness, like campfire smokiness. Smells a little bit like, yeah, like a like a wooden barrel. And I get a little bit of alcohol smell in there. It does give off a little bit of a whiskey sort of scent. That's awesome. Now, this is definitely um, a manly smelling soap. I can say this is a, this is a rugged smelling soap. Um, I'm going to get this in the shower. I paid it. I think I want to, I want to say I paid this $8.99 off a, a Canadian based website that ships uh, and has these in stock. Uh, so $8.99 for this. Anyways, folks, we are going to get this in the shower. I'm going to come back and let you know how the Duke Cannon American Bourbon Big Brick of Soap goes for me. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So I'm back after pretty much a week of using the Duke Cannon Big American Bourbon Soap. This is the Oak Barrel Scent. And I got to say, it was okay. Uh... I'm not going to say that I'm absolutely in love with this soap. I would be lying if I said that. One thing I want to point out is that after a week of using this bar, I can narrow down the scent to a smoky wood scent. Now it does say that this is an oak barrel scent, but this is more of a campfire wood that I'm getting here. So you get that wood smell, right? That, that almost like a deep cedar wood smell. And then you get the smokiness of what would be, you know, like a, a put out campfire. And then you get that sort of sweet bourbon-y sort of oak, something that was soaked in a sweet liqueur. It does smell okay. Just like the Mr. Manly bar, I find that this bar is a little bit too smoky for me. And a lot of that smokiness gets left on your skin. Uh, the scent of this bar does last on your skin, unlike some of the other uh, smoky bars that I tried. This one does last for a couple hours on your skin. 
And um, especially if you're going to be doing your face with it, which I did my beard, you, you do pick up that smokiness throughout the day. And I don't know, for me, I kind of didn't like that. But overall, the scent is not bad. It's definitely a manly scent, guys. This one is catered for us. The lather in the shower was really, really strong. It had a really rich lather. It was really foamy. Uh, it was slightly creamy. Uh, and overall, a really nice lather. I liked it a lot. Lathered really quickly, too. So when I got this bar, it was it was big. It was it was much bigger than this. And the corners were very sharp. And overall, it was just an awkward shape. It was almost similar to holding the box here, if you were to just close this flap. It was similar to holding this. Now you can see how awkward this is in my hand. This is a lot more comfortable. Still, I've used some 10 ounce bars before that had a really nice shape to them. You know, they were a little bit more squared off, maybe a little bit thicker. You were able to hold them in your hands a lot easier. This one, as you can see, is more elongated. It's more rectangular, which made for kind of an awkward shower experience. The first couple of times it was slipping out of my hands a lot. And you know, I do, I do have pretty big hands. And this was slipping out of my hands uh, quite a few times until I wore it down. Um, and, and now it is pretty comfortable. But if I, if I was Duke Cannon, I would definitely think about maybe reshaping the soaps a little bit. But I mean, it is called the big, big ass brick of soap. So it does look like a brick. Um, it did leave my skin moderately dried out. Um, after about like the third or fourth day, I had to use some body lotion. It wasn't a big deal. It's not like I was flaking and, you know, falling all over the place, but it was significantly dried out. Overall, I, I like the, the Ducanon. I paid $8.99 Canadian for this. These are really hard to find here in Canada. You do have to order them online and they take about a week to a week and a half to come. Uh, overall, you know what? I thought it was a good soap. If I ever get a Ducanon product again, I promise you what I will do is I will cut the bar probably into thirds. That way you can keep it in a soap container if you're traveling with it. And uh, I mean, the bar did not break down very easily. So if you cut it into thirds, it'll easily last you a long time. Uh, this bar will probably last easily over a month, a month and a half. Um, so they're definitely a well-made bar. Overall, guys, I like the Duke Cannon. Too bad we can't get them here in Canada. I would probably try a lot more. We're pretty limited to what uh, we can get here. And I highly recommend that you guys go out there and at least try the Duke Cannon once. It's a, it's a very well-made American product and uh, it's really catered to us guys. And I think you'll like it. Anyways, folks, that is the review. Thank you for tuning in once again and stay clean.